I'm Fred Wilkinson, Chief Editor of the National Provisioner. I'm here in New Orleans, Louisiana for the Cure Camp event, which is put on by Creekstone Farms. And I'm speaking with Michael Sullivan of Creekstone Farms. Uh, Michael, uh, could you tell us a little bit about the Cure Camp uh, event? Yes, so the Cure Camp event is an event I started putting on about seven to eight years ago. Uh, we have produced over 40 of these events all across the nation. And it's really kind of an underground speakeasy kind of event for chefs and for butchers and further processors to learn more about advanced butchery, meat curing, preserving meat, aging beef, and giving them the, that mystery science behind this art that we try to do every day. So we target um, this next generation to further this craft and really how Cure Camp got started was this mystery. I can't find information because it was all this information has always been passed down from generation to generation to generation. Now we have this gap of generations that no longer passing it down because their sons don't want to do it, their family doesn't want to do it. And we have this new generation coming now of wanting to learn, but there's nobody to teach them. So I spent, I've spent over 20 years learning this craft and I paired up with Brian Butler from Salt and Time to bring these skills to this next generation so we can further this knowledge that is kind of missing in our industry. And uh, for uh, small processors or chefs or other uh, food service professionals who are looking to kind of up their game for curing meats, uh, what is the one thing or one or two things you would tell them to, uh, to focus on first? You know, I always said knowledge is power. I see a lot of the mistakes happening, especially with small processors and s chefs getting into this. They're doing things reactionary without the knowledge behind it. I always encourage to reach out to professionals, somebody who's really knows their game like myself, or even like the American Meat Institute. Like if you're a small processor, the American Meat Institute has abundance of information to get involved in, and they're there to help you out, like on a small processor. For a chef, finding out, you know, really doing your research, who's doing the product right, and that they want to teach you. So, or finding like Cure Camp to come and spend your time dedicated to, to learn the craft. Because it really starts with knowing what you're doing before you do it.